Hey there, Mr. McCauley's class, parents and students. I wanted to go over the first math concept that we're going to be doing this year, and that has to do with patterns, both with shapes and eventually with numbers. But I just want to talk about patterns with shapes, and specifically, we're going to talk about using two attributes and what that actually means. Um, so here we go. So we are talking about patterns today. Um, and I'm going to talk about patterns with different shapes. And if we take a look at this pattern that's being drawn on the screen, I can take a look across and notice that I've got, of course, different shapes. I've got circle, square, triangle, and it repeats over and over again. Um, if I wanted to label that shape, we typically label shapes with ABC letters. So that, of course, might look something like this. The first shape gets an A, the next one gets a B, next one gets a C, and so on and so on. Um, and this is a typical way of naming a pattern, although it doesn't always have to be ABC, it just ends up being easier. When I'm trying to figure out what pat kind of pattern I have, I try to identify what's the part that is repeating. Now, in this pretty straightforward um, uh, pattern, you can see, that, of course, that it's the first three shapes, this A, B, C, uh, and that is the core that repeats over and over again in my pattern. So it's very important when you look at that and you find the core, then you can figure out really what kind of pattern it is. And of course, this is an ABC pattern because the core three things repeat over and over again. The other word I want to talk about as well is the word attribute. Um, in this pattern I have, when I take a look at the attributes, which are really the different features of the shapes, I can take a look and see that, well, they're all black colors. So it's not really um, color that's changing here. And every shape is about the same size. So it's not really size that's changing. In this case, it's really the actual shapes themselves. So it's the shape that's changing. And an attribute means really a feature uh, of one of the shape. That's kind of like the definition. So what is the thing that's pat that is changing? What attribute? Now, this changing of one attribute is something we do in primary all the time. But in junior, we might want to be thinking about maybe dealing with two attributes, two things changing at the same time. So let's take a look at this um, pattern being drawn on the screen. We've got some nice colors and we've got different shapes. Um, I really see that the shapes are changing and the colors are changing. So those are really the two attributes that are changing. It can be confusing if you try to deal with both attributes at the same time. I like to break it down and just do one at a time. I'm gonna start off just dealing with the size. How is the size changing in this pattern? Well, I've got a big shape and then a little, big, little, big, little, big, little. So really this is a, um, a, an AB pattern. Two things are changing. Big little, big little, big little. And now that I've done and I've identified what's happening with the size, next I can identify what's happening with the colors. So if I look at the colors, I've got pink, yellow, green, pink, yellow, green, etc., etc. Well, pink, yellow, green, pink, yellow, green, pink, yellow, green, that's really an ABC pattern. So I've got three different colors um, I've, uh, that is changing, and I've got two different shapes. So I have two different attributes. The size, there's two different kinds of, of, of sizes. And with the color, there's three different colors. And by identifying one attribute at a time and just talking about that, that I find is a little less confusing and it's easier to figure that out. Let's maybe try to take a look at another one. So we've got some different shapes being drawn on the screen. We have got so they're all black, I notice. Um, some are bigger, some are small. We have a variety of different shapes. It kind of would be confusing maybe to figure out what shape would come next. But when I do some looking, I first notice, of course, again, that there's a size change. We're getting um, different size shapes. Uh, I'm not looking at what kind of shapes. I'm only looking at the size. And when I look at the size, again, I have little big, little big, little big. And when I look at then the shapes, I'm finding 
very similar to before. I've got diamond star triangle, diamond star triangle, diamond star triangle. So again, at first these can be very confusing, but if you just look at what's happening with the size first, then you can figure out what's happening with the shape next. Um, another part of this is typically when you have to make your own pattern with attributes, again, that can be kind of confusing. What I like to do is draw different shapes first and then maybe add color second. That is a really tried and true method for making a pattern with two attributes. So let's look at some shapes first. So let's say I do some fruit shapes or some veggie shapes. And I've got um, the shape is changing, but the color is not changing and the size isn't changing. So if I was labeling this, I might say apple, strawberry, pepper, apple, strawberry, pepper, apple, strawberry, pepper. So I've got really an ABC pattern going on here. And let's say the second step now, I've done one attribute. The second attribute, I'm going to add some color. So let's add some color. I would say a green apple and a pink strawberry, a nice deep red. Now I've got apple again. If I go and add a green apple and continue the pattern, I'll have like an ABC for the shape and an ABC for the color. It's not really doing it with two attributes. It's kind of really just doing different shapes all over again. So if I have ABC on top with the, th uh, the three different shapes, I really can't do three colors on the bottom. I could do two colors or I could do four colors. Here's an example with four colors. Now I have a blue apple. And then I can repeat that with green, pink, red, and blue. Green, pink, red, and blue. And again, if I was labeling that, green, pink, red, blue, green, pink, red, blue. So on the top now, in terms of shape, I have three different types, really an ABC kind of pattern. On the bottom, I'm talking about color, and I have four different colors. So that's how I'm doing it kind of differently. Um, yeah, so that's kind of um, how you would work. Uh, hopefully this will help you to understand how you can make patterns with two different attributes. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Um, talk to you later.